Hello everyone, my name is Jasfrog and in this video I'm going to teach you about the Dimension Bringer. Now, I will be cutting this video into three parts. Uh, first is introduction, second is the uh, strategy showcase, and lastly is the uh, stats that will stats for chaos, I mean all bringers. Because like Dimension Bringer is count as a dimension. Uh, sorry, Dimension Bringers count as Light Bringer. So some stats are kind of the same, but I will al always discuss it and always remember that my everything I say is on the description. If there are things that you don't understand, but I, and I will always uh, provide a description for my script for whatever I'm saying in this game. So uh, before we start, of course, the introduction is uh, is that the Dimension Bringer is a DLC. You need to have the DLC in this game. If you were wondering, if you just finish the game, why don't you don't have the, the Dimension Bringer? Is because you need to unlock it on the rift, on the Gilgamesh rift. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's on the 10th floor. Once you beat this guy on the 10th floor, he will drop an item that you can use the Dimension Bringer. And Dimension Bringer is actually a command ability. And the thing is, there's no dimension bringer in the tips. I've tried it to look for it. There's nothing even in the rifts. There is relics though, which I'm gonna discuss on the other video. But you can actually see it on the command abilities. And the thing is, there's no also, there's no like, you know, there's no play movie, uh, whatever the dimension bringers. But here it is. So basically, it is set on the bringer command ability and. This uh, this behaves differently because you release an aura that slows the enemy compared to normal light bringer and chaos bringer that powers you up. Uh, and also this consumes 200 MP, consumes and it depletes at 200 MP. And the soldier did uh, replace it with the projectile, uh, projectile, what you call this? Uh, projectile non-elemental. But the thing is, when you activate, when you press that button, you can actually use an uh, use a jab action for you to activate the parry link. And also, when you use a soul shield stack, there's a soul shield stack for the dimension bringer. When you successfully do perform a successful soul shield, uh, you gain a stack of dimension bringer, and each stack of the dimension bringer determines how much command ability MP cost. Command ability and because of the dimension bringer and also its uh, duration. So the more stack, of course, it's uh, maximum of five, a uh, maximum of twenty. Sorry. And once you got that, I think the command ability and because of the of the dimension bringer is one bar. It all would also be probably uh, cost. Uh, the depletion will also be the same. And if you have a command ability reduce reduce cost like the 400 void knight that will also help because the thing is it will not be spending more uh, command ability and because and if you have like a leviathan blessing or any other leviathan blessing and 600 uh, cyclic warrior you won't cost any much on using a dimension bringer. That is why some builds on this game can, can can spam the dimension bringer. And of course, the normal rule for the bringer is that when you defeat an enemy, kill a normal enemy, uh, it will end with the soul burst. So yeah, that's about it. And I'm gonna show this to you here. The, um, I guess I can show it to you the, the normal ones, the the non soul shield stack. Oh yeah, the soul shield, and then the soul shield stack. But do remember that my duration is increased. Like I have a, I have a 157 percent duration for my light bringer, so it may not apply to your first experience. But I'll do my best. Where is it? So dimension bringer, of course, is basically you slow the enemies. Wait, let me see. You basically slow the enemies. This is actually really good for. Wait, what is my? I I should set my parry link for the axe. Oh, look at that! I have no gold at all. Let's say I'm gonna use the willing trust. Now let's go for the air uh, annihilation. And once I use the. 
what they call this the the projectile of the dimension bring i can actually use the parallel link so this is the normal one so that's like two bars see the enemy is now slow so i'm oh wait what the hell man so i'm gonna stock it up let's see how much i got Yo Yo everything one shot me oh my god dude Oh wait I should have That was a mistake Wait wait let me just oh shut this up Oh wait I'm gonna go Oh well I just need the soul shield stack anyway so I guess this is a good one Wait how many boss? Three boss So that's like five. Wait, I am not blessing a flight. God damn. Yo, oh wait, this is a pull. Oh okay, yeah, I guess I got one more. Oh okay, let's go. Oh wait, I also forgot, they can actually escape from the... They can actually escape from the portal, and the thing is... Oh, this is the parry link? Hey, wait, oh my god, lie. I also forgot, that when the damage is active, your projectile can also be powerful as long as you chain can. The more abilities you can use. So this is the party link, see? Ara era annihilation. God dang dude. Oh my god, everything one shot in this game. I have two blue mage? Oh yeah, I forgot. See a lot of people going for the spam of the dimension bring, which is really good. Also the... The soul shield also works for the boat jobs. There you go. There you go. Oh, I also forgot the 600 Berserker doesn't work when the Dimension Bringer is active. But when you have a 600 Psychic, 600 psychic Wire, the duration of the Dimension Bringer will extend. See, I didn't have the full Light Bringer duration. Back then, there, there was uh, available. I mean, you can actually use it. Yo, did you just party? Oh. No. This is the last one. Or is the last one? See, if you have a great amount of right bringer duration, especially for the dimension bringer, you can get a lot of it. You can abuse it if you want to for you to win the game. And I do believe that dimension bringer is really good one for when you are getting stuck. I mean, if you are getting pressured by the boss or any multiple enemies. That's crazy, man. I mean, everything one shot you? Yeah. This is the end game. This is basically the hardest uh, rift. Like, even if you are not using the. Even if you're not playing with the uh, trials, everything one shots you. Alright, okay, so let's go for the stats. Stats, 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 stats. Damage reduction? Oh. Paralysis resistance. I would need that if I have a. So the stats of. Okay. So the stats are, of course, in the. 
uh, equipment stats, you can actually use it. Use it here. Uh, wait. Change special effect. Let's say his. You can actually see it from here. There are four ones, which is during during light bringer damage dealt and during light bringer break damage dealt. Uh, uh, damage taken during light bringer and light bringer duration. This also works for the dimension bringer, and there is actually no improve effect dimension bringer because you can actually improve it with the help of the soul shield. And the thing is, if you have a a soul shield stack, that also increases, as I have mentioned earlier. And you can increase it with the master points. I'm showing to you the smithy because that means that if it is can be if it can be smith. So that stat can be also be looted from the enemies with the chaos effect and from the master points you can actually get it but only two which is a uh, light bringer duration and light bringer damage so there is no damage taken and damage uh, and break damage more and uh, the affinities that can increase your the Dimension uh, any bringer power is basically the knight of course the 400 invisible Immune for the HP damage when you are a light bringer and the berserker uh, This doesn't may not work for the dimension bringer Because it's not uh, kind of applicable because when you soul burst when the dimension bringer is active the Dimension bringer will not be removed or anything at all, but if you have a 600 psychic law warrior and 600 berserker the dimension bringer will extend and you will gain a soul shield stack but this will help the 400 you will feel uh, mp when your light bringer is active next would be dragoon 400 for increase your attack speed when light bringer is active and 250 of the paladin for the heal hp and next is the Oh wait, 600 cycle warrior. Where when you activate the dimension bringer, you gain a soul shield stack and soul burst as well. And this will also increase the duration of the dimension bringer. So that's about yeah. I, this also helps if you have no bar. If you use the two bars, and it will refill your H MP. So that's about it. Uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day.